Well, hello and welcome to Wednesdays with Bob number 64. Remember, even though this isn't a traditional English lesson, there are word-for-word -word English subtitles if you need them and a complete transcript in the description below. Well, in today's Wednesdays with Bob video, I want to tell you the answer to yesterday's question. Yesterday, I put out a video where I told two stories and one of those stories was a lie and one of those stories was true. And today in this video, I'll tell you which one. For those of you that aren't members, this is what a Wednesdays with Bob video is. Every Wednesday I make an extra video where I talk for a few minutes about a certain topic, um, usually about something about my life. It's a good way to learn a little bit of English, but it's also a good way just to get to know me a little bit better. But let's get back to the subject at hand. Yesterday I told a story about a new puppy and I told a story about a spider and you are probably wondering which of those stories was true. Well, I'll just tell you. I don't want to make you wait till the end of this video. The story about the puppy was the lie. The story about the spider was actually true. So let me talk about both of those stories for a moment. As with most lies, there was an element of truth to the puppy story. Even though the puppy story was a lie, there were a few things about it that I borrowed. Some things that actually were true. First thing that was true. My sister was always the person who our dogs loved the most. As a child, we had a few dogs over the years. And for some reason, my younger sister always took care of the dogs and the dogs always liked her the most. So that was true. Even though the story about the puppy was a lie, that part of the story was true. Every dog we had, um, they would just like my sister more than the rest of us. The other thing that was kind of true about that story is we did have a dog named King and a dog named Prince, but not separately. Uh, we got two little puppies at the same time named King and Prince. I think we named them King and Prince. Um, but they didn't, I think we ended up uh, having another family adopt them because they were part poodle. It's another part of the story that's a little bit true. Um, and they just didn't work very well as farm dogs. They were too excitable, too high strung. So eventually uh, they went to live with some other people. Um, and then the story about the spider. Yes, I did find a spider in my room when I was a kid. I did put it in a small jar and then I put it in a bigger jar and I really thought it would be a great pet until I realized uh, when I read a little bit about spiders that spiders don't make great pets and so I let him go. And he, I did name him Rick and I did put sticks and stones in the jar uh, and flies and it was kind of a funny little thing that I did when I was younger. Well, there you go. Now you know which story was true and which story was a lie from the previous English lesson. I hope you enjoyed both of those stories, regardless of the fact that one was true and one was a lie. And I hope you appreciated the true story and I hope that you were able to learn a little bit more about me and what I was like when I was a kid. I want to say a big thank you to all of you for watching this English lesson, but an extra big thank you to those of you who are members. Thank you to everyone who has clicked that join button and who supports me in the work I do teaching English here on YouTube. I do really, really appreciate it. Thanks for watching once again. Have a great day. And for those of you that are members, I'll see you next Wednesday with another Wednesdays with Bob video. Bye.